So let's talk about solder. Solder, this is solder. This is composed of lead and tin. So this, this here is 40% lead and 60% tin. Um, this is a, a box that I've had for a very long time. So as soon as you're done, you wash your hands. And the Romans used lead for all sorts of really great things, they not knowing that it was poisonous. So their whole society wound up getting poisoned by lead. Uh, the richer you were, the more lead you had in your pots and your pans and your utensils, and your house was plumbed with, with uh, lead. And since they had volcanic water flowing through uh, with hot water, and uh, so they hot hot and cold running water throughout their throughout their houses. Problem with uh, the heat was it pulled more lead and put it into the water, so we saturated the the water with lead. And so lead lead poisoning does three things to you. One is it makes you stupid. The next is it makes you psychotic, and the last one is it makes you sterile. So all the more reason for you to go wash your hands and just clean up and just soap bubbles cleanse your hands when uh, when you do the solder you will have the smoke just blow it away from you just blow it away not a problem so this is what happens when you put too much solder on here that lands on your leg it's gonna hurt you're gonna say ow speaking of ow do not touch from the black part all the way to the tip it is very very hot it is 520 degrees kind of hot our soldering irons in the labs are set at 525 so <clears throat> please be careful in that aspect so let's get down to business so i'm gonna clean the tip this is, this is a few hours from the from the first video the first portion of the first video so cleaning the tip remember the tip is hot you'll get burned and i'm just wiping it not very hard but clean the tip nicely. Please remember to clean up your area when you're done using everything. Clean it up. It's greatly appreciated. And remember there are cameras everywhere and for those people who like to leave me a mess, I will watch the cameras, which will aggravate me. So it takes about a half an hour to get to find out who did it. I'd much rather have you do the keep everything nice and clean and we won't have any problems. No one like coming into a mess and so on and so forth. All right, so let me show you how to solder again. Remember, you clean the tip, put a little solder on the tip, a little ball to start, and over here, so I had already done these, so just Remember, heat on, you're going to do it for a total of eight seconds. So heat on, one, two, three, solder on, solder off, four, five, six. So when you're doing this, I'd like for you to make a ring all the way around. You can make nice little balls. They should be nice and shiny. If they're not shiny, that means you did not put the heat on long enough. So you're just going to do this. You can go all the way around, and then you can put your initials in the middle. So one, two, the heat on. When see how, can you see that ring right there? How it's silvered up. So heat on. One, two, three. Solder on. Solder off five six seven eight I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more it's a really nice close-up of a ball of solder or a coil of solder here remember I got uh, a little bit of solder on my fingers you can see it you definitely want to wash your hands when you're all done with this so I'm gonna clean the tip over here bring this into view so cleaning is just a couple white, or as Harry Potter had learned in when he was first learning how to use the wand. This is your magic wand, your soldering iron, soldering pencil. So Wingardium Leviosa, you always think of it as such. That helps. So just a couple of swooshes, put a little ball of solder on the tip, 
Um, here we go. So one, two, three, solder on, solder off, four, five, six, and let's try that again. If you leave it on too long, you're going to pull the pad off. So let's try this again. That was not my best. So a little bit of solder on the tip. Make sure you get it on the bottom side because that's where you want the heat transfer. You got to get the heat out of the iron into the board and the part. So one, two, three, solder on, solder off, six, seven, eight. You really should, just like learning how to dance, you got to do the count. So a little bit of solder on the tip there. I'm rotating it. So one, two, three, solder on, solder off. Five, six, seven, eight. So let's do this right. Here we go. So put a little more on that on there. Put it off to one side, and you'll notice that I'm waiting for the heat to catch up. And you see how that happened? So off to the side here, and there we go. So one, two, three. Solder on. Solder off, six, seven, eight. Heat on, one, two, three. Solder on, solder off. Do not apply the heat, do not apply the solder directly to the iron when you're doing this. You want it off to the side. If it doesn't heat up on the pad, then you need to cook it a little bit more. Do not leave the soldering iron on a pad more than 10 seconds total because the pads will come off. That's my dog wanting to come in. So what I want you to do is run all the way around all these pads. And by the time you do all these pads, you're going to be pretty much an expert. Then you can do your initials. And in here, you think of it as a dot matrix screen. And there you are. I want nice little bubbles. Uh, you can blow the fumes away from you. Remember, adjust your workspace to where you're comfortable. If you are not comfortable, you will get burned. Happens every so often. I'd rather not have anyone get burned under my watch. So make sure your legs are completely under the work table. And you're wearing closed toed shoes. A drop of solder on your foot will make you say, ow. It does not feel good. Trust me, I speak from experience. Now, if you got too much solder on here, a couple tricks are. <laughs> there we go. So, one of the tricks is clean the tip really well. And you can wipe it off. Couple, you got a couple. Got to go through it a couple times. Worst case, you're gonna need to use this solder sucker or solder work. There we go. So, see, a few times like that, and you can get it done. So you're just gonna go all the way around, and yes, practice. Practice is what it takes to become good at anything. Close the holes. You see how I didn't have the hole closed there? So I went back and warmed it up. Do a bad job. Just go back and warm it up after a few moments. Go to let it cool down and then come back and do it again. All right. So I've done enough here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the board. I'm going to break this in half. And <clears throat> this is a header. As you're in the computers, it's 0.1 inch spacing, and I just, you can bend it right at, at the seam, or at these creases, and it comes off. So I'm going to take and put the short side 
through the holes on the top side of the board here. So I'm just lining it up and they're coming through. So them poking through right there. All right, so I have it pushing down into the table and now we can start by soldering. I'm gonna clean the tip a little bit. She clip tips a little dirty. Soldering irons that we have at the school are much nicer. So put a little bit of solder on it. Remember, you want to heat the board and the part. It's important that you get both heated up. So one, two, three. You notice I'm in on an angle here. And solder on, solder off, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, solder on, solder off, and done. Now you'll notice that I didn't completely cover the pad. That means that I have to, I'm going to come back and do that again. So I'm going to come over here, do the adjacent part. One, two, three, solder on, solder off, six, seven, eight. Let's do that. I'm going to come back and do this one here and just put a little more solder on it. Doesn't take much solder. And you'll notice that my solder joints, like Hershey's Kisses here. See? And this third one here is not covering it up either. So, clean the tip. A little solder on. There you go. Did you see that flow through? So, a little bit of solder on the tip. Put it on the board and the part. And the keyword here is and. So, three, four, uh, one, two, three. Solder on. Solder off. Six, seven, eight. So, a little bit on the iron. I'm rotating it. And did you see how it moved off? See that solder right there? So, that, that means I have a good heat transfer. And now, one, two, three. Solder on. Solder off. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Solder on. Solder off six seven eight so when you're doing this really you should count i know it's obnoxious but you'll do a much better job that way doesn't take much solder but you definitely need to have enough now i made a nice solder bridge here i'm gonna make this nice and bad oh yeah how easy it is to make it look bad by the way this is one of the tricks to making a bus if you need to make a, a bus you can then put one wire and it conducts all the way through but do make sure you have it all the way through there's a gap right here so I'm gonna make that nice and solid now how do you fix this glad you asked this is when you use your solder sucker this is a solder sucker it's silvered, so it's for static, electrostatic sensitive parts. Works really well with that. Uh, the trick with this is you push the handle in and loads it, and this will pop out. Now I'm, I'm going to fire it, and then it will suck really hard, really quick through the tube. There's a plunger in here, and you're going to see a little metal rod come up too bad here. Now, here we go. A metal rod so to load it you push down make sure you push nice and straight and that will load it and just to show you if you push it all the way out see that that clears uh, some of the solder that be in this tube so you would use it to pull the solder out so you come in right here and i'm going to put it between these i'm going to put it between these and there you go Clean that nicely up, right? Remember, you got to re reload it. And don't burn yourself as you reload it. Put your iron back in. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're now experts. When you uh, use a solder sucker, make sure you go back and clean up the pads and everything. All the way around and make sure you use your ohmmeter. 
make sure you don't have any stray wire whiskers all right now let me finish this up feed uh, you need to unroll the solder cuz you're working it remember to wash your hands when you're done Do not choke up on your solder. If you do, you will get burned. So don't get too close to the iron. Been there, done that. So those will look pretty good. These look like Hershey's Kisses. I'm going to unclip the board here so you can see what I did. See how nice those look? They all look pretty good. Not too bad. And there we are. Okay. And if you see the pen, the pins are bent a little bit. That's because I overheated them to demonstrate uh, the solder. Sucker. So the trick when you're soldering uh, parts in a board is to solder every other pin on it. So if it's a resistor, you would solder pin one, go on to the next resistor, and solder all the pin ones on them, and then go back and solder all the pins two, pin twos on them. Uh, and cut your wires, do, uh, do no more than three parts at a time in a board. All right, there you go, not too bad. As for a solder kit, and uh, you can do soldering in the different labs, I'll make sure there's irons in and the different labs for you to work with. All right, thank you, and uh, hope this was educational, and good luck.